Hi, it's Mr. Giles, and this is a tutorial on how to use paint.net. For students returning to my class, this will be uh, something you're very aware of and know how to do. For those of you that are new to my class, it could be a little overwhelming. There are a lot of windows. So I want to show you a few things just to get started. One, there are these little controls in the top, and you'll notice that they turn on and off the different controls. So this is probably the most important tool here is the, the tool window and then the color window, and then the layer window. We'll, do, we'll talk more about layers later. Um, for now, it has all the basic tools you're used to. For example, you have the colored line, and you can pick colors from this color wheel and paint different colors. Up here at the top, for every tool you select, you'll have different options for that tool. So in this case, I'm going to go back to the paintbrush, and you can see the size. And I like to pick a different size. And you can change how hard or soft the coloring will be so it'll look like it's more blurry. If you look, if you zoom in, you have a zoom in down here. You can see the difference between this line. And if I make it harder, it'll be like this. You can see it's very, um, it's very like thick and, and, and the pixels are closer together and not blurred out. So um, you can change your settings up here, the brush size, you can change the color, um, you can change the hardness or softness of what you're drawing with. Um, there are so many options, I don't know all the options. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, you have your classic paintbrush tool. Actually, I'm gonna jump down to shapes. You have these shapes, okay? And the shapes give you the ability to draw a shape with an outline. It will use an outline that is the thickness that you set your brush to. So if I set it to four, see how I've, I can even adjust this until I click off. If I click off, it has now been painted on the screen. You can always hit control Z as in zebra, the CTRL key. It's usually in the bottom left hand corner and you can undo as much as you want. I'm going to, in fact, I could undo everything here. I'm going to undo everything. I'm going to zoom back out by clicking. If I follow my mouse down the screen here, I'm going to click and it gets my whole screen. You can see your full screen by clicking this button and you can zoom in and out. You also have a magnifying glass. We'll talk more about that later. So you've got the line tool, which is really cool. You draw a line. Also, I'm going to change my color back to black here and it gives you this ability to bend at four different places and you can move where in the line it bends. So you can make really cool shapes using the shape tool. I love this because it's just, I like it. I like it a lot. And you hit enter. Enter will lock in what you're doing. So I'm going to draw another line. I'm going to bend. I'm going to bend it. Bend it like Beckham here. Pull that up there. There's a lot you can do. I'm going to hit Enter. Um, the other thing is you have the selection tool. You have the ability to draw a square selection around something. And you can hit Control C, Control V, and copy. You can copy that selection. Control Z to undo. You can, to get rid of the selection, or what I call the marching ants, see these little dotted lines of the marching ants, you hit control D as in dog, control D as in dog, and that will deselect. So you can select some create, you can do like this freeform selection where you can select around something very specifically and I can hit delete and I'll delete it and you'll see this checkerboard. That's the bottom of your table basically. That's your like, that's your canvas. Um, and then I could fill that with a paint bucket. I can get a paint bucket, pick a color, I click fill, it will fill in any empty space. Um, now I'm gonna draw three or four shapes. I'm gonna select my black color again, and I'm gonna draw a square, a square, then I'm gonna change my shape here. I'm gonna pick a different shape, like uh, an arrow. By the way, it changes whichever one you're currently drawing. And then I'm gonna go and change to a uh, heart, Oh, I just changed the thing. You have to hit enter. Once you hit enter, that object has been committed and I'll draw a star right here. Okay, now I'm gonna hit enter. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my paint bucket tool and I'm gonna change the color and I'm gonna click inside the shape. See how it fills just inside of that shape. Then I'm gonna hit enter and that locks the shape, kind of commits the shape to it. I'm gonna click here. Now if I, if I go here and change the color, I can actually change the color until I hit enter it'll keep uh, changing the color for me. So I can decide, oh, I like this color better. And you even have more color options right here. And you can change like every degree of the color. And you have a bunch of pre preset colors you can choose from too. And if, if that's too much, you can hit less. 
and I hit enter. And so there's the basics of paint. You have an, oh, you also have an eraser tool and you can change how large the eraser is. You can have it really hard, like a hardness eraser, or you can make it softer. So when it erases, see how it has a fuzzy edge on it? So that there's like a fuzz to the erase. Um, and I think that's all the basics of paint.net. Oh, last thing, probably really important too, saving. Paint.net, like all other Windows programs, has a file menu. And if you go under file, you can save, save as, save all. We'll talk about that more later, but for now, I always like to go save as and save what I'm drawing and I'll call it my first drawing. And um, for now, just I just leave the type, but you can also change the type of file. But for now, we're gonna leave it whatever it says it is. And we're gonna click save. Congratulations, you've, up. Oh, say okay. You have now saved your first file and you can tell you saved it because up here at the top, it says my first drawing.png. All right, paint.net. Have fun with it. Play around. Make some of your own shapes. Draw something. Share it with me if you make something cool. Do not like, do not subscribe. Just don't do it. That's just weird. No, you can if you want. That's cool. <laughs>